Buenos días. Appointment number two. Done. Just waking up from surgery. There's the own hubby. So today is my third Botox um, injection. What that is for. Um, it's been over a year and then incontinence so you guys are on the journey. Um, so I'm really out of here. So the reason that I have this here is because um, I have a mass multiple sclerosis. And with multiple sclerosis comes a lot of urinary incontinence. Um, for those of you guys are able to control it, you don't have any issues at all, God bless you. I'm also for those of you guys that don't have any bowel issues, God bless you. But for me, it has been a whirlwind. Um, I never forget, back in 2016, being discharged out the hospital. I say the stomach issues started to, I'm um, adjusting my feet, um, the cover. Uh, stomach issues started to occur about a month after. Um, I remember at that time I was diagnosed with gastritis, I mean gastroparesis. And then the GI doctor that I see now, um, I had him for a while and he dropped me some back where him. he took away the diagnosis of gastroparesis and then um, IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, and then gastritis. So um, it's been a hard roller coaster of a journey. So we um, met at the hospital. I wasn't able to really record as much as I wanted to because as soon as we got there, they were rocking and rolling, doing two doctors at one time, two nurses at one time, trying to get everything together and get me situated. My pick line didn't want to cooperate, um, so they end up putting an IV in my hand, and a nurse that did it got stuck on the first time, and that was perfect to me. Uh, let me go a little bit further back. So I had the pick line put in in March of this year. Reason being is because if you guys remember back in February when I had the border can, I became septic, which was extremely dangerous and, and scary above all outdoors. So um, my primary care physician was kind of there about getting me a another implant to port anytime soon. So I've been doing the pick line. So it's been about, what, five months? You know, now that we're in um, July and my home health nurse saw last week or week before that it was acting like a jerk, didn't want to flush. Even if you tried to flush it, it felt like you had to plunge it. So she didn't want to risk this, you know, it was a blood clot. So I didn't go that Thursday, but that Friday I went to the ER. They put like this activates medication you use that for um blood clots for patients that deal with issues like that but also works good for a porta cat they have to put it in there every 30 minutes and they come and check it but sometimes they may extend themselves to an hour i did get that done um around that time and it took a while because that was like the last friday before heading into july so it wasn't that long ago the last Wednesday, she had put in for me to get a new pick line put in to get the old one out. And then I had the schedule and everything. So then when that part came around, the other you guys, because there's only one person that does it, sometimes you may have two. But it's all like to put you to sleep with and just lie the 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 side and go about the business and get it done. Um I mean, so he saw that it was working fitting necessary to get a second procedure to be put in. So he didn't worry about it. Um, so that's where I'm at now. Um, just yesterday, the pick line was working fine, but today it wants to be a butt. Mm -hmm. So 
Um, the nurse was amazing. I mean, first stick. She was able to get in there. Boom, boom, bam. That was it. Um, by the time I was trying to create another pose, uh, the anesthesiologist, another anesthesiologist and an assistant doctor came in and talked to me and they brought me to the OR. Um, so by you in there, they're prepared for you. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back, everybody. Today is Sunday, um, July, what, 17th? <laughs> July 17th. So happy, happy July to you all. We are in that month. And it is so crazy how the month is almost over. Um, right now, hubby and I are out. If I'm seeing with the sun glare everywhere. Naune. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Sorry, the sun glare is everywhere. Um, right now, we are waiting on a friend of ours. Um, so we were in the parking lot just waiting for them. Um, a friend of ours with them and um, just get something done. So hopefully you guys are doing well. You guys all are doing great. If you guys have had not had a great weekend, we're ended to you. We're going to start to you. We're going to the opportunity to watch this video. As I always, always say, keep your eyes open. Keep your head up, look up, because there's a bigger, brighter bed down on the horizon just for you. And you have to know and believe that you all deserve every good and great thing that's coming your way. Alrighty? So, you guys, so much has been going on since the last upload. I mean, even before that video has um, gone up. Um, it took a, a, a good break because it was much needed for the mind, the body, the spirit, and the soul. And like I said, just so many things have really occurred um just life has just been happening back to back to sleep and you know the doctor chooses how much botox he wants to do and you know it's kind of like it's like a use a cytoscope i think like that it's like a long flexible tube to kind of have a camera or on the something like that and they inject um just a couple holes injections into the bladder to um you know to assist with dealing with the ongoing overactiveness of urinary incontinence and you know sometimes you can have a side effect dealing with certain things hello 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 everyone okay so the day is monday july 18th so um just finishing cleaning up a little bit just cleaning up the dishes cleaning out the sink um my my nephew um he made himself some burgers last night well not technically made the burgers but just to make the um I just make the beef for it. Um, so to have that when he gets home from work, you know, um, he likes to bake his own food because he like does it his own little way. So that's good for me. I don't have to hear him complaining. So, okay, kudos to that. <laughs> so he just uh, clean up a little bit in here. Um, hubby had some donuts yesterday from the restaurant um, called Ideal. You could get groceries from there. They have like really good um, food. So they have like little um, donuts. They're not really as sugary as a lot of regular donuts. So I really, really like it. Um, and it's really delicious. So we're just setting up the table here. Kind of making that look neat. Also cleaning up in the living room some. So just really, I have the, I have the lights out. Um, the other day, my mom and dad went to my aunt's birthday party. This is my mom's aunt. Um, my mom's, uh, my mom's mother's, um, sister-in-law. So, she like a paint and sip. So, um, they could paint pictures. So, this is my dad's picture. I think this is his. So, this is my dad's picture. And then, this is my mom's picture. So, you know, this goes here. So, you guys can see that. So, that's kind of in town because, um, Friday was her birthday, so she made 25 again. <laughs> really, she made 60 something. But my mom loves her age and she's very proud of that, and I love that about her. But um, they went out of town just to hang out for her birthday and just to really get away. That was super much needed. Um, so they are actually on their way back, um, right at this moment in time. Um, Ever is at work, so I'm just right now just finishing cleaning up and I'm getting ready to talk to you guys to let you guys know what has been going on lately. See me blowing my nose and that my eyes are being red because I am totally 
horrible and not feeling the best at all. And like I said, when I went to the hospital, I was feeling great, feeling fine. I did not have any symptoms of a cold whatsoever. Now, with me being chronically ill, I definitely know what my body's feeling like I'm having cold symptoms, pneumonia symptoms, anything where I feel like I'm coming down with some kind of a flu bug, anything that's just really out of the norm for me. So I can definitely tell when things are just off kilter and I'm just, you know, at a baseline of feeling like, okay, this is not good. But when I woke up from anesthesia, I remember when I you know, was in the room and I had to help and use the restroom and everything. Everyone was assisting me, so the nurse come in as well. But I started feeling like a lot of chills. Uh, the last time I felt chills was way back in February when I had the portal cap removed when I became septic. And that's when I had all the infection that was going on because the portal cap being infected. And okay, is it the pick line? Because the pick line started to act up again because it was having um, problems with flushing. And so they had to do uh, a regular IV in my hand, if you could probably see here or maybe not. See that little bump there? And this is exactly one of the reasons why I get, uh, why I've had posts before and why I've had pick lines and midlines because I'm always looking like Mount Everest having bumps everywhere and knots and nodules because it seems like the IV after a while, like even though if there's a nurse, you know, or IV team that can get it in there, you know, the first time around, I'm learning the complication, the issues, just with constantly over the past couple of years of having so many infusions, so many hospital visits, doctor visits, being in an infusion center, having needles here and there and everywhere, your body after a while just says, okay, no more. And it just doesn't want to be stuck anymore. So pause right there and go back and talk about when I first started having problems with the pick line. Almost around, well, it was around the end of June leading into the beginning of July. Um... My home health agency and I still have home health that comes once a week to change the pick line, change the bandage. Now, the regular um, nurse that I have to come and do it, she's only allowed to change the bandage. She's also allowed to change like the little adapter. And I'm sure you guys what that is. She's only allowed to change the adapter, uh, the, I mean the extension. So like this here. Where the purple part is, she can unscrew that off and I have extras that come at least maybe every two and a half weeks that I get a brand new order that uh, the company would call me and send me all my new supplies that I would need for the next couple of weeks before I get a new shipment in. So uh, you could change this extension here and also you have this, uh, you have this little extension cap. Um, right here, this little adapter, and then you have like the little end, um, the little alcohol cap. Now, this is a hospital alcohol cap, but those are the ones they send me are green. So that's what she can um, change. Now, if there's any complications where it's not flushing, then she would have to send her supervisor to get that done because then they're, they're more of the top nurse that are able to handle it if there's complications that arise. So when that happened before, um, the nurse thought that it could have had like a blood clot. And when that happens, normally I just go to the ER like I did, um, around May when I went through this issue before. And what they will do is that they'll put this activate solution inside and they normally give that to patients that have, uh, um, <clears throat> sorry, like keep being congested, um, that can have a blood clot. So they will put that on the inside and then you cannot flush it or touch it until 30 minutes later and they're trying to see if they broken up the um if they broken up anything that's inside that is blocking it. So they were checking maybe every 30 minutes. And sometimes if it's not long enough, then they will wait an hour and see how it'll flush and then it'll come back and see if it's working or not. So the last time I had that done, you know, it was recently around the end of June. Now back at that time, back in May. Uh, when that happened um, before, one of the nurses took a couple of gloves and stressed them really well. It's hot around my arms to kind of create like a little pressure situation and try to get it to move a little bit more. And after a while, it did work. So they did not need to take it out and put a brand new one in. Uh, but this is kind of like the 
I don't know how many times when this has happened. And so with um with that situation that happened most recently, um my um so I'll lose my train of thought, you guys. My home health nurse reached out to our primary care and that's one of the jobs that they can do and then let her know about it. And so then my primary care put into the emergency room where I went to go and get it um checked out at uh, for me to get a brand new new pick line put in. But while I was leaving, that's when the information came. Is I had to call them and schedule something. Is I had scheduled that for that Wednesday, July 6th. 